Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you from Pampered Polishes. This is their brand new Alice in Wonderland collection. This collection will be going live for sale in Pampered Polishes shop on August 20th at noon Eastern time. They will be selling for $12 each. They are limited edition, so they will not be restocked once they're sold out. So if you love something, be sure to head on over to Pampered Polishes shop, which I will have linked for you in the description box down below at noon Eastern time on August 20th. We have six polishes to this collection. Why don't we go ahead and get started? The first polish that we're going to have a look at is called Absolutely Alice, and it's described as a clear based, full coverage glitter with a variety of blue micro glitter, matte, metallic, and holographic glitters, and it's got an accent of silver micro glitter. This polish had an excellent formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. I had no issues for a glitter bomb. This definitely had a wonderful formula. Sometimes glitter bombs can be thick and a little bit harder to work with, but I didn't find that to be the case here at all. I did require three coats for full opacity. It is very blingy, and perhaps if you went in with thicker coats, you might be able to get away with two, but I could still see some visible nail lines, so I did go in with three, and I was happy with the turnout. Since this is a full coverage glitter, it's going to be a little bit difficult. It's going to be difficult for you to remove, and you're going to want to go in with a kind of like a glitter eating top coat to give yourself that full on glassy shine. Up next, we have I'm Not All There Myself, and it's described as a magenta crelly with purple flakes. This polish had an absolutely wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. I had no application issues. I also had no staining. This polish I was delighted to see was opaque for me in just two coats. Those flakies come out of the bottle how you're seeing. I didn't do any kind of manipulation like holding the bottle upside down or anything like that. How you see me apply it is just, just dipping the brush in and applying it to my nails. Those purple flakies do give such a beautiful glowing quality against the magenta base. This polish is not going to dry with any texture and it will not give you any kind of difficulty to remove. Next up, we have Off With Their Heads, and it is described as an off-white crelly with a subtle blue shimmer, black, red, and silver holographic flakes. This polish had an absolutely spectacular formula, no surprise there. Pampered Polishes loves a white crelly, and she does them like nobody else. They are just perfect. They apply smoothly, evenly. They're not chalky. They are just a perfect formula for a white crelly, and I could have these little flakies in, especially the red ones. I just absolutely adore them mixed with the black. Such, such a pretty polish. It is not going to dry with texture and it's not going to give you any kind of difficulty to remove because it's just flakes in there. This was opaque for me in just two coats and I sealed it up with a glossy top coat. This next polish is called Simply Impassable, and it's described as a light periwinkle crelly with blue, pink, and purple glitter and a dusting of Aurora Shimmer. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on smoothly, evenly. I didn't have to do any manipulation for those glitters. They came out so perfectly. I honestly completely forgot that, that it was glitters because everything just came out and applied to my nail just, just perfectly without me having to do any kind of manipulation whatsoever. This polish surprised me with actually how much I liked it. I don't usually like periwinkle and glitters are not my favorite, but this one was just like a little party on your nails. Very, very fun. It's going to take a tiny little bit of scrubbing to remove because it's got those glitters in there and you're going to want a nice thick glossy top coat to finish it off and make it nice and glassy. This next polish is called Very Merry Unbirthday, and it's described as a metallic mint green with scattered holographic. This polish had an absolutely wonderful formula. I had no application issues. I did start off with a thin first coat, so I did use three coats to build to a full opacity. 
your application might vary so you might be fine with it with two thicker coats but if you work in thin coats to cover a nail line i think you're going to want to go in for three this has such a beautiful mint green color and i love the scattered holographic effect that it has it is so sparkly and so pretty i've been in a green mood i'm actually wearing a green shirt right now so this was really kind of hit the spot perfectly for me right now it is not going to dry with any kind of texture and it will not be difficult for you to remove. So here are my swatches, a very merry unbirthday with a glossy top coat. Up next, we have Who Are You? And it is described as a purple toned gray with a scattered hollow, holographic glitter, and a touch of Aurora shim shimmer with a rainbow of itty bitty micro glitters. This polish had a wonderful formula, broken record, I swear. Anytime I do a pampered polish video, everything is always with an excellent formula. I had absolutely no application issues with this. It went on smoothly, evenly. How you see it apply to the nail is how it came out of the bottle. No manipulation to get all those itty bitty glitters to pop on the nail. I just used two coats to achieve full opacity. This polish does have some holographic glitters in there, but I didn't find it to be difficult to remove. And I just used one coat of a glossy top coat to make it nice and glassy. All right, guys, that wraps up the Alice in Wonderland collection from Pampered Polishes. If I'm going to pick a favorite, I definitely am going to say off with their heads. And I'm not all there myself would be my top two very merry on birthday is definitely neck and neck with I'm not all there myself as well. I want to know what your favorites are. I want to know which ones you guys are going to be picking up. Leave me comments down below if you have any questions. All the information that you're going to need is going to be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye guys.